Testing on this, testing on this, testing on this. Uh-oh. Is it just a blank screen? Do we have anything yet? Blank screen? Do we have anything yet? Anything yet? Blank screen? Uh-oh. Nothing? I see it on OBS, but I don't see anything on YouTube. Oh wait, there it goes. Awesome. Testing the chat, anyone here yet? Anyone here yet? It doesn't, I know it's the middle of the day. You just gotta, oh, hello, okay. People are here. Hey, it's Jess, how are you? It's been a long time, Jess, let's hang out soon. I know I've been working like crazy. Um, so I need to look at my window and then I also need to look at the chat. Daily driver says, hold up. I need a bowl first. Nice. Gaming A says, yes, please to yes, please me too. So I need your advice and it's something I'm conflicted with. These car giveaways that we've been doing in conjunction with Remarkable.io, my Justin Burnash's company, the former, former guy from Prime Driven, like the MR2 guy from the East Coast, um, they have op opened opportunities for regular car reviews that wouldn't have existed before, like me building a functioning crazy taxi in real life, a car that I love going to Australia and not really having to worry about uh, what AdSense likes, what it doesn't like in a very money ball way. So to continue to do regular car reviews and make the money that we should be getting, but we don't because uh, RCR is very unfriendly to advertisers with the exception, I mean, my agent, Brandon, does, he works very hard to try to get me something. And so far, the only brand that says yes to regular car reviews is Factor Meals. But I also feel bad about the vocal minority of people who don't like the giveaways and accuse me of being disingenuous and fake. And that hurts. They are right in that the giveaway ads are positive. Why wouldn't they be? They're cars I enjoy and cars I have fun with. And I get to have a new car every month to play with and make videos with. On the other hand, I still am a journalist and am responsible for being honest. And they're right. I am pitching the car because I want people to buy coffee mugs because I want to be able to continue doing regular car reviews in a shrinking market. I mean, uh, YouTube is past its glory days. Maybe there'll be a revival someday. What's hot right now is short form videos, which I make from time to time as well. But of course, they don't pay what YouTube pays, and YouTube doesn't pay what it used to pay. If it wasn't for the giveaways, I probably would stop doing regular car reviews. If it wasn't for the giveaways, I'd still do regular car reviews, but not in the format that you have come to expect. It would be sort of a hobby thing. I'd go get a job again. I'd work for someone else. Um, and RCR would kind of just be this now and then thing. Um, a lot of the bigger YouTubers 
that I know have taken their money out of YouTube in that they make their money elsewhere. Uh, Matt Fair and the Smoking Tire are now in the car storage business. We all know Doug built a car or helped build a, a uh, auction website and really changed the face of, of how automotive auction, auctions work. Some of your bigger car builders still have their day jobs. Um, some are consultants. Whereas Nick and myself, st well, actually now Nick works for part-time for Doug. Nick Roman works for Cars and Bids. Um, I don't have another job besides this. So I rely completely on uh, ad revenue, which is a shrinking thing. Um, the biggest criticism I've noticed, uh, this is a uh, chat, Ileana says, the biggest criticism I've noticed was the 3000 GT review where people alleged that you trashed the Dodge Stealth, which was the same car. Oh yeah, I mean, it was a, it's a complicated vehicle. I'm, it's right outside. It's, I don't want to work on that engine. That, that 6G72 V6, there is no room to work on anything in there. But on the other hand, when I drove that Stealth, I drove it in the Chicago suburbs. Now I'm driving a um, 3000 GT on open roads in Pennsylvania where it's winding. And suddenly I'm just bang, I'm just revving that thing, driving way too fast. I'm like, oh, it's different. It's a completely different car when, when you're not just putzing in traffic. Summer Salt says, are you kidding? The only reason I hate the giveaways is because I live in Australia and I really don't think you ship a car to me. I'd kill to be able to win a car just by buying a coffee mug. Well, that makes me feel better. Thank you. Um, DB Sunshine says, I've entered a couple of those raffles, and though I haven't won, I'm happy to support you in regular, regular uh, you and Rome and what you do. Keep at it. Fuck the negative Nellies. Okay, that, that helps. Uh, Green Guy says, have you ever considered a Patreon or Ko-Fi? Oh, there is, an R there is a regular car reviews Patreon, but I don't, I don't promote it. It's there. Um, you can look it up, but I don't do anything with it. In fact, I think there was just two tiers. There's $1 and $2, and that's it. I mean, because I don't have time to curate something like that. Jess Kuntz says, we have to be able to eat in order to make art. I do commercial photography so I can take travel photos. You are not responsible for other people's feelings. You are only responsible for how you react to them. Now, that is true. I just made a, like a longer video trying to like justify the giveaways um, by just explaining the, the, the nature of automotive content. Um, Jason King said, Rosemont isn't really conductive to driving pleasure. Nope, and that's where we were, yeah. Um, Joe Professional says, for me, I understand that the giveaways are ads, but funny, well-written, positive ads. It doesn't bother me. We all toil and strive under capitalism. Do what you gotta do for uh, you and Nick to survive. Dylan H says, do you think less frequent giveaways could earn more money? Um, I don't know. It used to do, we'd do a giveaway like once every two or three months. But there isn't a change. There was no change between doing it every month and doing it every three months, doing it every quarter. There was no change in, in revenue. It didn't get bigger. It didn't get smaller. It just stayed the same. Um, Uh, Mark Johnson says, you're a good man. I always watch your videos and never skip any ads, even the factor ones. Well, thanks. Try to make them fun. Um, the next giveaway, Justin's out in Jersey. Well, why wouldn't he be? That's where he lives. He's looking at the next giveaway car. And it's an S2000 AP2. So... I can hear the negative comments on it already because you just did one. And I'm like, yeah, a year ago, last summer or last spring. Um, and from my perspective, it's like, yay, I get to have another S2000 for a month and drive it and have fun. But then I guess the, 
the negative comments will be, you're just doing this because people like it and you're just doing it to make money. And the answer is, yeah. Uh, Esther Outcome says, I've been a fan of yours since I was 13 or thereabouts. I don't consider myself a car person. I'm a fan of your art. You just need to do what makes you happy. Van says, I personally skip most giveaway videos since you guys obviously pull your punches on, on those versus your regular reviews. Pull my punches in what way? Like only say nice things, like they're positive reviews. Dominic T, has the price topic been discussed? It has. The same amount of people enter the giveaways, no matter if the giveaway is 50, 40, 30, 20, or 10, or 5. Justin already tested that metric. And the number of entries do not change. The only time they drop off is over 50, and then it's less. Um, Esther Outcome says people will always complain. Uh, Bryce Graham says you're always such an enjoyment to watch. I've been watching since I was in sophomore year of high school. You always brought a smile to my face during the bad times in high school. Well, thanks. Hurry and Doin says something that literally Justin Burnass said. I think the haters are just salty about not winning. Plus, everyone else here, we just got to hustle to eat for time being. Summer Salt says, do you mind if I ask how the whole giveaway deal works from a financial perspective? It's not just as simple as a mug sales pay for the car and your income, right? Yes, it's literally that. Now, I don't buy the car. Justin does. It's his money. So yes, enough people enter the giveaways that the car is profitable. Yep. Various Engineering says, we don't want to have any issue with the giveaways, but we just want honesty in the end. That's the real trick, isn't it? How can I be, pos how can I be positive toward a prize? that I want people to enter so I can live and at the same time hold the car accountable to its flaws. Reagan Batcher says, just got here. What is the issue be being discussed exactly? How to be honest. Hang on. Maybe it's as simple as how to handle the haters for the car giveaways. How to maintain journalistic uh, unbiasedness even when I have something to sell. The Gaming Ace says reaching out into other things other than mugs and downloads might be worth uh, looking into. That is true. I did that. I did bring that up with Justin, and he answered with this. When you order a coffee mug, it never comes in the wrong size, such as like hoodies or T-shirts or other things. It's, it's always a mug. That's it. Bryce Graham says, you're always transparent toward us, and as such, I knew you didn't mean anything bad by the giveaways, and I hated that people were trash-talking you. I'm glad that the giveaways allow you to make videos. Okay. Hun the Hound says, I mean, considering your other hobbies, yeah. To have lots of haters, yeah. You may have to handle it the same way, right? I'll see you at Anthrocon. Um, yeah, no one get. that's the funny thing. No one gives a shit about me going to furry conventions but me making more money, now we have a problem, right? <laughs> Jason King says, I thought the GT3000 video was sup supremely entertaining and raw in its honesty. Your pure joy in driving that car was evident. Nothing felt forced or phony. That's why I keep watching. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's something else. I made a whole, there's a video coming out on regular enrollment tomorrow, me trying to be more succinct about 
explaining the giveaways and how I feel about them. Because um, YouTube can't pull the ad revenue it used to. I mean, YouTube has big competition now between Meta, which is, you know, Facebook, Instagram, etc., and, of course, TikTok. And even it, YouTube is competing with itself between YouTube and YouTube Shorts. So there's so many places now to get your content to just watch videos. YouTube is not, cannot command the ad revenue it used to back in, like, 2018. So... Uh, the ad space isn't as valuable, so creators obviously are getting paid less because there's less money. Um, I haven't heard, like, there, there are other car people who do giveaways, but it just, maybe just because I'm in the eye of the storm, it feels like I'm, all, I'm the only one getting hate about it. Connor Kirk says, classic hater logic never makes sense about what you're hating on. Summer Salt says, you just need to ensure you include a pros and cons section for every giveaway car. That is a very good thing to suggest. Never leave to chance what your audience takes away. S2000. Pros. Cons. Table, make graphic if necessary. That is a thing I could do, like the pros and cons of an S2000. Pro is obviously noise. Uh, Mark Johnson says RCR times 717 supply. You talk about street speed 717? I met him once, anyway. Um, anyway, yeah, like with the S2000, which may be next month, uh, why are people worrying about the negatives for a vehicle that may only cost them like 50? Exactly. Most of these giveaways, actually, I'm, I'm basing it on one data point. I, one, the red Mustang S550 we did, I saw on Facebook Marketplace like a year later. But that just means someone had a car for a year and decided they're not a Mustang person and just got rid of it. Um, Garrett, S2000s, pro, it's an, ama it's an amazing car. Uh, uh, pros, it's amazing. Con, it's a successful weed dealer sports car. <laughs> oh, look, the guy who owns a hydroponics lab is here. Oh, look, it's the guy, here comes the guy who owns the local dispensary again. What does he drive? Of course, it's a fucking S2000. Um, Michael Hawkson says, uh, in my opinion, the giveaways are more morally upstanding than shilling for a mobile game, VPM, or overpriced mattresses. I agree. Dude, every time, every time Raid Shadow Legends emails me, my price is now a hundred grand. <laughs> they want me to do that. Seems some people were offended because you hated the Dodge Stealth and loved the 3000 GT. I don't really care. Okay. Dominic says, I would assume the majority of whiners are from these doing, down, doing the download and feel like they're getting nothing for their money as well as the chances for winning are already low haters. All right. Michael Hodgkins nailed it. Yeah. Um, I have no issue, David Scott says, I have no issue with the giveaways. It's quite clear the main purpose is to support the channel. However, I'm unclear if I would legally be allowed to win since I live in Canada. Sorry, dude. Um, Venmo someone in the United States and just say buy this. In, in one of the states where raffles of this kind are lawful. Um, and just say, yo, here's, a, I don't know what it is, $58 Canadian. You just buy this mug. Um, Soviet the Kitty says, I don't mind the giveaways. I think a lot of the hate for this last one comes from people not watching the video through and assuming your only sentiment on the car changed only because it was a giveaway car. That's a good thing. Says, even though this is a giveaway, I'm going to talk about bad things. 
That's a good thing. Write that down too. For even though, this is useful. Thank you for doing this. Even though this is a giveaway, I will talk about bad things. Motor Horse says, see, that's funny. Not everything needs to be serious. Uh, some fans get offended way too easily. Osmobile Thompson says, I'm in an empty church sanctuary, so I'm going to leave, y'all. Uh, I don't get it. Okay. Um, Hun the Hound says, I'm sure you have before, but you have directly stated how, uh, directly stated any known mechanical issues, or although they check pretty well. Oh, they're checked pretty well. Um, some things do go, like with the Corvette, the blend doors stopped moving, like they jammed or something, and that CB radio never worked. I couldn't get it to work. You know, there's problems, and then there's like GM problems. But most of the Japanese cars are fine. Some of the stuff you should know already, like if a car has an aftermarket exhaust and they didn't, you know, do some stuff with resistors or, you know, get the little spacer or the O2 sensor, you know, the check engine light is going to be permanently on. That's, I tend to put tape over that. Or if a car has uh, uh, tire pressure sensors and they put aftermarket wheels on and didn't put the and didn't put the correct valve uh, stems in them and have the sensors in them, your TPS light is on. It's like whatever. I I hate tire pressure sensors. I hate them. They're for dumb people who don't know how to use the ten dollar little tire shaped tire gauge that's in every auto parts store that's even in grocery stores you just check your tires usually four times a year every time the weather changes and our barometric pressure changes you change you'll get better yeah so yeah check engine like that check engine light on because people cut their cats off or put aftermarket exhaust and tps sensor lights have always been on subarus have that airbag warning light that goes on they're, they're like that but yeah Hun the Hound says, inflates your tire big and round. Um, Somersault says, I have a drag show to put on, so I love you and leave you. Best of luck, Brian. You know I got this. Thank you. A winter collection video would be neat. People can see the highlights of being a lucky individual themselves to give that position the next giveaway. That would be cool if they were local. But usually what happens is, well, actually, what happens is uh, uh, Justin, as a matter of principle, delivers the car via a transport truck, you know, just hires a car transporter to bring the car to the winner, even if they want to pick it up in person. Um, some people want to. He says, no. It's an extra thing. Something can go wrong or, hey, we can't be here. Like sometimes he's not even there. Like he won't be around. So, or he's busy with someone else because he works with tons of YouTubers. Um, I'm thankful that Justin and I, one of my favorite things I do during the week is that monthly lunch with Justin Burnash. And we talk about metrics and uh, search engine, how the latest thing went and how some other YouTube channels are going. So, so uh, whoever wins these things, their car comes on a, on a truck. And, uh, yeah, uh, Cajun Y says, even after these possible changes are made, people will still find something to complain about. Thanks, Bob Dole. Uh, Hun the Hound says, I got to get back to work. See you at F AC and FD. Yeah, see you there. Um, Kia Corp says, you said you were going to raffle cars you like. Just stick to that. Treat it like the EH2 hatch. If you don't like the car, deal with it. I like it, and I want you to have a chance to. Yeah. Garrett says, how are the giveaway cars sourced? Facebook Marketplace. Mostly it's just Facebook Marketplace. Um, Facebook Marketplace is to getting cars kind of what like having an, like Redfin is. 
I'm guilty of just looking at Facebook Marketplace is a big time suck for, for anybody who's really into cars because sometimes you see an absolute gem and it'll be only up for like an hour before someone snatches it. Just like, oh, I've been begging, begging, Justin, can we please do a, an MR2 again? Any MR2, I just miss it so much. I mean, obviously an MR2 would be a great giveaway car, but half of it is me just wanting to have the greatest car that's ever fucking been designed by the human species just for a few weeks again. Saab 92X. Is the Saab 92X the Sabaru? Um, also, I want some coffee. It's such a nice day today. This is like, it's going to be 70. It's almost 70 out there. I should really just be driving crazy taxi right now on the last sunny day because it's going to rain again. Dude, this house is leaking. This is the house I rent. I mean, I'm not going to... Uh, like the addition to this house on the tar paper up there, this house has been leaking for almost a year now. I got to get out of this house. Some of you guys saw on Instagram, but like everything beyond that wall is the addition that was put on like in the 40s or 50s. And every time it rains, just water comes down through the walls. So my time in mid-state PA is, is ending. I want to move closer to Philadelphia because that's where most of my friends are. And also it's easier to be gay there. Schuylkill County really sucks when it comes to LGBTQ stuff. I'm very lonely. It'd be nice not to have to drive an hour and a half, two hours just to feel normal. Anyway, thanks for listening to this. Thanks for these things. So with the S2000, put in pros and cons. Talk about the pros and be upfront about the cons and say right away, like, even though this is a giveaway car, I will talk about the bad things. Spencer Town says, says, be honest with the giveaway cars, just like you are about the Malaysia, about the Malaysiest car reviews. You have something positive to say, to say about even the worst anyway. Plus, the giveaway cars are in better condition. That's true. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you for listening to me. Thanks for giving me the pep talk. There'll be a larger video coming out tomorrow where I just drive the, uh, drive the giveaway car and just state, which really, which really probably should be this. In fact, I should probably just link to this and just say, hey, this is us talking about it more. Uh, uh, Roman says, hey, Nick, just remember people will always find something to hate. Always. Yeah, that's true. I guess we never really complained. To, I never really thought about haters before like we almost encouraged it but now when i have skin in the game it hits different uh, michael uh 8393 says thanks for popping on brian there was a super chat i ignored i think it was just someone saying hi it's just gman29 thank you for the donation i appreciate it um quaxim says apropos of nothing i just drove home from Erie after the eclipse yesterday saw so much brown in crawford county so much Kunkelman in Erie. nice I feel like people would just gladly jump on a minty EG hatch with a B series, whether swapped or an import. Yeah. That's a good question. Which do you think would be like, well, I know what I want. If I did an EG Civic, of course I would want the one slammer engine, the stock slow one. That's what is fun. But what, what I found that what I like in the automotive world is not what the automotive world likes. People like engine swaps. People like big power. I like sort of esoteric things. I always tend to like stock over swapped, unless the answer is usually an LS swap. I like LSs and things that are not supposed to have LSs. Like if something's like already a V8, it's kind of pointless. Like I see a Fox body with an LS, I'm like, I get it. It's a better engine than a Windsor block. Does it take a little bit of the magic, uh, like the, it, it takes the sucking, it takes some of the suck out of a Fox body. It's okay, fine. But it doesn't solve the weird driving position or all the other like shittiness about a Fox body. I think I, I like an, 
One of my favorite things to see LSs in is Panther bodies because it's something that's not really meant to go fast. Like if, if you LS swap a Marauder, that's wrong in my opinion because it already has the four cam version of the modular, which is fantastic. But if you just have like a, like a Landau top, a uh, super grandpa spec, a uh, town car, a town car with an LS, there you go. Uh, Don Redeberg says, I literally bought a car you reviewed because of your negative comments. Interesting. Um, okay. Motorhorse says, I never had an issue with the giveaways. Then again, I'm also not terminally online. That's a good statement. Uh, Nick says, I, I used to get really bothered by negative comments when I started doing solo videos. Now, I'm not sure I really care. They suck to read, but it goes along with the privilege of getting to do this. That's true. Um, anyway, I should really go outside and touch grass, as they say. So I'm going to do that. Thanks for the pep talk, guys. And um, uh, yeah, uh, it's a race to the bottom next week that Nick is probably working on right now. And uh, there will be a, I see the super chat. There will be a very special episode of regular car reviews coming up. Probably... Uh, probably later this month. It could be uh, an evening video, possibly the 18th, like an evening video on the 18th. Uh, live premiere that I'll watch with you. I wish I could get the graphic of the Charlie Brown where it has that bongos playing and the word special just spins like that, but I don't know if that sound effect is copyrighted. Ryan Rink says, if the choice between RCR with giveaways and with factor or just no RCR at all, no, I'd gladly take the commercials. Okay, thanks. Hmm. All right, man. Yep. Take care. Um, that's it. Maybe I'll do more of these live streams. Thank you for keeping me company. Thanks for the pep talk. And uh, uh, Quantum says, oh, the CBS special presentation bumper. Okay, I'll look that up. I wonder if that's copyright or you can't use that. CBS, CBS special presentation bumper. Yep, there it is. All right, guys. Have a good day. Talk to you, talk to you later. How do